So there you have the tote dividends on race number seven in Adelaide. Our next event for telecast. Six on the card. The winner, number three, Count Henri, paid 70 cents for the win and 55 cents for the place. Second, number seven, Lady Jordana, 95 cents. And third, number eight, Zamakima, paid 60 cents. Quinella paid $3.95 and the trifecta was $13.30. Now, as far as the other results are concerned, Sandown Race 7 with correct weight there. The winner, number 7, Rancho Ruler, 125 and 65. Five Stable Gossip paid $1.45. One Testimony paid $1.15. The Quinella was $6.35. Trifecta paid $45 even. And the Running Double on 9 and 7 paid $6 even. Now, uh, the Daily Double at Sandown, <coughs> pardon me, number 9, Vaux Rogan, 7, Rancho Ruler, 9 and 7. Paid $5.40, no sub required in the first leg. Second leg sub was the winner, number seven, Rancho Ruler. The Quadrella on seven, double nine seven. Havelock's Pride, Vaux Rogue, Scarlet Bisque and Rancho Ruler was quite popular, $155.90. Now, runners are on their way to the stalls for the... Lines up. Scratching here, number two, Goblet. And a field of 16 running. There's the view. Almost the view that the starter will see when he dispatches the field and there's the view out behind the gates with Mardisi still playing up. The attendant's trying to link arms behind her but she's on the back pedal and the way she's going is a late scratching at the barrier. Just standing by for Ron Paps to confirm the official scratching time and that's coming through on the public address system over there at Morfordville. Late scratching by order of the stewards for unruly behaviour at the barrier, number 12, Mardisi. And the substitute over there in Adelaide is even true, so here's Ron. Service feet to Don Zatore, up for grabs here for the Swettenham Stud Stakes. Oh, Princess Tobman's trying to get rid of the rider. The adrenaline really flowing with the big money up for grabs. They're racing now. And Rich Hall away well with Spirit of Emily and also away nicely. Luck alive and going very fast is Even True. She's burning through the pack to assume the lead. Even True on top on settling with Rich Hall. The outside Princess Tobin are inside. Strawberry Fair is driving through on the inside to make them work a little while longer. Around the outside, Hasty Snob and with them Luck alive followed by Flighty Native. Golden Treese the inside now. Then further back, Lockley's daughter followed by Luck. Lucky Witch, who's midfield. Further back in the field, Spirit of Emily followed back behind those then. By Lockley's daughter in that division came Aussie Consul deep on the track, working into the race though. They were followed by Glorious Wave. Well back in the field, second last star for us and last of all, as they swing for home as elusive gambler in the Swetnam. And here the leader is Rich Hall, the WA filly. She got a length and a half in front, even true to second. Out wider on the track now is Luck Alive, who's winding up from Princess Tobin. Strawberry Fair down the outside. Aussie Consul, Even True, has raced to Rich Hall and grabbed the lead. The chestnut, Even True, pounced on the lead with a hundred to run. She's got the money. Even True wins the Donza Torre service in the Swetnam Stud by two lengths. Strawberry Fair, tight third. Spirit of Emily, or on the outside, Aussie Consul, or on its inside, Aussie Consul, and splitting them. Lucky Witch, a three way go, the miners. Then Lockley's daughter followed further up then. Strawberry Fair in a bunch, Rich Hall, and then came Golden Trees, followed then by Princess Todman. Star for us, followed by Luck Alive. Well back on the field then came Elusive Gambler, Flighty Native. Lockley's daughter pulling up quickly. Hasty snob towards the tail enders. Well, the very consistent mare, Even True, has done it again. Number five, Even True, the winner. Second placing, probably number 16, and that is Strawberry Fair. And they're all over the place for third. Spirit of Emily, Aussie Consul and Lucky Witcher there. Now, on the tote at the moment, they haven't taken out the late scratching Mardisi. So even true is showing a dollar seventy-five and eighty-five the figures we have in front of us, but she will be shorter than that. Uh, the second place getter number sixteen is showing round about three Craig. Pablo's polls don't play and Lecce done. A link butterfly star and then comes on the inside Pleasant Express. Tri-step very wide. Swift General third last from Bozam the rail and Hunter brings up the rear. Weight and Gold hanging on the corner and Dream Faith getting up on the inside to almost join him. On water third three deep Pleasant Express the rails and then Stimulus and don't play. At the 250 Weight and Gold's history and Dittman are dashed. Dream Faith for the lead. Dream Faith a length on don't play who's about six off 
up the rails. Don't play and in Williams. Come after Dream Faith L. Dittman. Dream Faith by Gully Mick Strong. He's getting the, everything out of Dream Faith and it'll win. Dream Faith a half length to don't play. Third Pleasant Express followed in by Bozam. Boy, didn't he rush home well fresh. From on water, Wait and Girl disappointed. From Stimulus, Purse Strings, Hunter. Then came Butterfly Star, Pablo's Pulse, Swift General, Tri-Step and last leg, hey done. And Ian sees them 2, 5 and 13. Number 2, Dream Faith, the winner. Second, 5, Don't Play. Third, number 13, Pleasant Express and Bozam rattling home to run fourth. The winner should pay about 3, 35 and 95. Race 7 in Sydney. Second place, get a number 5 to pay about 1, 15. And third, number 13, about $3 and 40 cents. Now, the last in Sydney is due at 5.30. We won't have a telecast of that for you, but 3DB will be broadcasting that particular race. And number one short memory is out of field of 14. Brentano, 380 and 220. Nullarbor Prince, 385 and 120. Tax Dancer, 270 and 90. Garuna, number five, is showing 12 and 290. Super Asset, 760. The centre, Capricorn Star, they're racing. Well, Hella Girl not all that well away, and Sun Vita dropped out towards the rear with Wishful Hope. Princess Zegna, one of the early leaders. Laylam began very well. Please Yourself is with the lead. Also, Gibraltar Star and Easy Life. Cosmos Girl around them. Prima Passer from Happy View, English Charm. Then Capricorn Star going forward, followed by Gilgut's Bell. There's no pace on. Sun Vita around the outside from Queen's Suite. Easy Life's dropped well back with Gilgut's Bell. Close connection. Then Cathcart last. Last is Walhalla Girl just in front of it, Wishful Hope. 900 to go now and Princess Zegner in front with no pace. Led a length and a half here to Gibraltar Star, a half prime of passer. One further back, Sun Vita around the outside of English Charm and Please Yourself. Then a length and a half, Queen Sweet, Cosmos Girl, Happy View, one to Laylam. There followed by Capricorn Star, two to Cathcart Lass and then Gilgut's Bell, Easy Life, next Wishful Hope. Then close connection, Walhalla Girl looked hopeless on the corner. 500 out, Princess Zegner, a length and a half, prime of passer, about to go out after it from English Charm first. Third. They were followed then by Sun Vita. Laylam pulled to the outside from Gibraltar Star and then Easy Life. Princess Zegna grabbed by Prima Passer. He hasn't let English Charm go, but he'll need to. Laylam's coming at it. Here's Please Yourself bullocking out in the centre. Please Yourself has raced up to English Charm from Laylam and Cathcart Lass. It's Please Yourself on the outside. English Charm. English Charm a half head in front as they get near the line. Please Yourself's grabbing it on the line. I think it's got up. I reckon Please Yourself might have got up and won a nostril to English Charm. Cathcart last third. Cosmos Girl fourth. Then Laylam, Princess Zegna, Gibraltar Star, Queen Sweet. Then Happy View, Wishful Hope, Prima Passer, Easy Life, Gilgut's Bell, Sun Vita, Walhalla Girl. Close connection and last home, Capricorn Star. A screamer for the last on the program. Please Yourself may have got there. There's only a breath in it with English Charm. And they've hit it together. As they've gone to the line, the judge calling for the photo. Cathcart Lass getting up for third in a desperate uh, struggle to the line in the final event of the program. And the judge calling for the photo. Maybe, please yourself, just nosed English charm, but oh, it's so close, it could go either way. Cathcart Lass has got up for third. Laylam just weakened on its run. It looked as though it was going to close on the leaders. Uh, and win. it got within about a neck of the lead and just couldn't get to the post. The judge... Number seven, the winner, Please Yourself, ridden by M. Clark. Number seven, Please Yourself, ridden by M. Clark is first. Number three, English Charm, H. White second. And number nine, Cathcart Lass, ridden by D. Murphy third, seven, three and nine. Real thriller to wind it up here today, the winner of the race, Please Yourself. And it should pay three dollars, uh, three dollars forty and one fifteen. English Charm second, one fifteen, and Cathcart last third, a dollar thirty. There, the should pays. Please yourself by Glenn Stray from Good Chance, trained at Geelong by uh, uh, M. Simons, written by Michael Cluck, and uh, run a couple of uh, a few good races at Flemington. Played first of all, where the winner was number five, Even True, paying a dollar sixty for the win and seventy-five cents for the place. Number 16, Strawberry Fair, $3.20. Number 17, Spirit of Emily, $17.85. Quinella paid $30.30. And the trifecta, $1,770.10. In Sydney, the previous event there, Race 7, went to number 2, Dream Faith, $3.30.95. Five, Don't Play, $1.15. 13, Pleasant Express, $3.30. 
Quinella $11.40 and the trifecta $616.50. <clears throat> well, I think my voice has just about had it, but uh, we're back to eight, the winner number seven, please yourself, $3.45 and $1.15, second three, English Charm, $1.15, third nine, Cathcart Lass, $1.30, the last Quinella, $12.20, Trifecta, $195.05, and the last running double, a pair of sevens, $15.35. Well, the highlight of racing today at Sandown Park was race five, the CF4 stakes, and it looked like being a brilliant class of the final event on the card at Morfordville. And they're racing in the final event of the carnival and away quickly towards the uh, centre lucky quattro going fast Sam Juan Amigo the grey solo affair is showing speed out deep trying to head them majestic moss with them flaunting star drives through the pack lucky quattro the rail followed by Wolver action and also pride of galaxy back along the inside game romance followed by night follows day last Franklin drive second last Melrick and they've got problems they come to the turn and the country train galloper solo affair the grey is going along with a wing on every hoof it's four in front of San Juan Amigo. Two away to Majestic Moss up close handy. The stable mate ridden into the race pride of Galaxy but hard ridden down on the inside. Lucky Quattro then night follows day. They were followed then by Flaunting Star. I don't think this has got any chance Franklin Drive. Back with it Melrick and also Wolver Action and Game Romance but coming down to the 200 Majestic Moss has moved up on the outside. With it over on the inside is Solo Affair. Majestic Moss head Solo Affair who fights back coming after them San Juan Amigo but it's Majestic Moss's day. Majestic Moss gets home by a head to Solo Affair. Sam Juan Amigo four then to Lucky Quattro with Pride of Galaxy, Flaunting Star, Melrick out deep, Franklin drive the rail. Well back, Wolver action, night follows day and last game romance. The Melbourne Light 2 Majestic Moss 235 and 85, number 8 Solo Affair 355 and number 6 San Juan Amigo $3 even, their interim totes on the final event in Adelaide this afternoon. Last in Sydney comes up of course at 5.30, no telecast of that but you'll be able to hear it on 3DB and that almost closes today's edition of Grandstand on what's been a fairly warm day here in the studio. Jenny Chapman and John Rothfield, a highlight or a couple of highlights from you both, Jen? Well, I think I'd be looking out for Scarlet Bisque in the Blue, Di Blue Diamond um, when it comes up. I was very impressed with her win. Uh, Vaux Rogue, John, was a great yeah, win again. Very impressive. Uh, I don't really know how they're going to beat him uh, the rest of the autumn, Jen. And also Rancho Ruler, I think you found that he's uh, come back to his best and he's not doing anything wrong in his races. He went on to win quite impressively. And I think Dandy Andy too, Pete, seeing it was the only winner I back. And might yeah. I say thank you too to Blossom House for this outfit today. They're in Anderson Street, Temple Stove. Drop in and see Lynn, she'll look after you. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you both shortly. Jenny Chapman and John Rothfield, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. And uh, thank you for being with us throughout the afternoon on what's been a very big day of racing throughout Australia with the running of the Australasian Oaks, the Apollo Stakes in Sydney and, of course, the CF4 Stakes here in Melbourne. Don't forget Sports World in the morning from 9 o'clock, the return of the football segment on Sports World and uh, also a complete wrap-up of racing. Seven nightly news coming up tonight at six with a full wrap-up of news, sport and racing. And of course on Wednesday night, the footy's back on seven with Footscray and Fitzroy in the Panasonic Cup. So thanks for joining us this afternoon. We hope you've backed lots of winners. We'll look forward to your company again shortly on Grandstand on seven.